Oh yes, we are not through with good old Hayao Miyazaki just yet. Yet again, we see the true artistry that is Hayao Miyazaki. Ugh. Shine on, you beautiful diamond in the rough. Hayao Miyazaki just continues to amaze and continues to impress. However, unlike how the ending of our last video would suggest, Castle in the Sky is not on the level of Princess Mononoke or even Spirited Away, but it's still an outstanding piece of work. I'm surprised this man doesn't have his own religion dedicated to him. And yes, it's definitely not on par with Spirited Away and Princess Mononoke, but it still has that charm and creativity that we expect from our Lord and Savior. If I have to say anything about this movie, it is the closest he's gotten to being Disney-esque, but it still remains faithful to his work. And the English dub was done pretty well. Although a bit wonky at some times, it still worked. Plus, they got Mark fucking Hamill. Enough said. Plus, I really enjoyed the romance between the two main characters. Yeah, they don't kiss and everything, but that's what we call subtlety. I could sum up this movie with just one sentence. It's a fun, entertaining ride. It's got action, romance, mystery. It's a roller coaster ride from beginning to end. And it's kind of like Daniel said, this movie is probably the closest Miyazaki has ever come to being Disney-esque. There's the straight-up evil but still kind of upbeat villain, there's the two romantic leads, and there's even bumbling sidekicks. But even when he's the closest to being Disney-esque, he manages to outshine them in so many ways. For one, he's willing to show an orgy of destruction on screen, and the romance isn't just love at first sight shit. The two leads more or less fall in love because, well, all the shit they go through together. And the sidekicks start off as villains, but they eventually turn into allies. I thought that was a great transition. And you know what it has the big showdown with the villain and all, and you know, that, that that's great, that's great stuff, but... But what? Well, you know when they finally get to Lapida and, you know, they... Oh, I see where you're going with this. Well, yeah, like, I would not have minded at all if, for the rest of the movie, from that point on, was just them exploring this scientific marvel of human ingenuity and this wonder. I mean, here is this marvel of human engineering, this lost civilization with so much history and knowledge and its own unique ecosystem. I really wish it was explored more, and that the rest of the movie was just them exploring it. The climax with the villain showdown is great and all, but I think I would have just preferred to explore this place. Brett, we've got all these characters and we have to do something with them. We got Mark fucking Hamill, Brett. Okay. Mark fucking Hamill! Yeah, I mean, I know, I know, I know, like, I mean, I know you got all these characters and these loose ends that you can't just throw away like garbage, but... Come on, man, didn't you want to see more exploration of this place? <sighs> yes. The climax is still great, like I said and it does contain my favorite moment in the entire movie. Which brings me to Hisashi's rescore. I love the rescore, I adore it. And the destruction of Lapita track was so good, it was my favorite moment in the whole movie. But apparently Pyrrhus bitched about it, and they had it removed in the 2010 DVD. It was replaced with this lame track that wasn't even 20 seconds long as, and was completely uninspiring. Is that the original track from the Japanese version? Because if it is, fuck it. I prefer the rescore. <sighs> Whatever. As I said before, Miyazaki is the gift that keeps on giving. And he has plenty more for us. But we're not going to be looking at it for a while now. I mean, we're not through with Miyazaki yet. Oh no. Just yet. But for now... Time to put him to rest, and move on to other things, such as... Actually, can we go back to Miyazaki? 
If you agree or disagree with this video, be sure to discuss in the comments section, and if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also be sure to check out my blog at the Critical Canucks at blogspot.ca, and also be sure to follow us on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, all that jazz. Links to all those are in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll be seeing you next time. Peace out, everybody.